Back to the small shit. Got to talk about them. Um, You're going to steal all your coins out the wallet. Right. Next generation. <laughs> 25 cent again. Speaking of coins, we had the world famous Coin Academy. Home of the Baller Podcast. You dig what I'm saying? Let me get let me get it let me get back to the story. I've been called a liar by Vlad. <clears throat> and what it is, Vlad is um Vlad Vlad feels like you could say something about people and it'll stick, but Vlad, I ain't known as a liar. Yo your story, your story in fact is not true about me. I don't really the only thing I lie about is hair color. I'm Frederick Douglass, if I let it be what it normally is. I say that on stage. <laughs> Homie, I don't lie, man. Vlad, I ain't even, come on, come on, sit down, because the whole world been looking for you with that fucked up ass outfit you got on. Oh, they, the fuck oh, this oh, nigga hey, got man, on, man. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know you like this type Marcus of shit, Marcus be man. wearing some shit, boy. <laughs> what up, dude? All right, see, man. It's Look good. Oh, uh, we, we keep fucking up the Vlad story because everything happened. Y'all ain't shit. Get my goddamn wallet. What up, now? She got the wallet, brother. Anyway, hey Vlad, all, all right. this shit you do when you try to make Let me seem find like I'm out. a liar, it's not gonna really stick. I mean, everybody in the world has lied before, but I don't really, I don't really perpetrate on shit. I stand on mine, and if I get caught doing something wrong, I admit it. Facts. I've heard him do but it before. What the man did, everybody, Vlad tried to make it seem like, he said, Corey something with money. When he first came at me, I ain't know who Vlad was. So I was like, why everybody doing his show? If this just a motherfucker just doing a podcast, just like us. So I was like, I tell you what, you come on my podcast and you, and you do something, I'll come on your podcast. Then hey, he man. said, oh, I don't really... I don't really go on people podcasts and shit like that. So I was like, well, what the fuck I'm gonna come on your podcast for? Mm. I'm gonna make you famous? Mm. Long story short, he thought he had the power to do something with me and Aerie Spears. Like we go on there and we talk it out or whatever. Oh, you trying to make buku money off you. Is you. <laughs> Aerie Spears, I, well, I can't let him back on my podcast. Aerie Spears got drunk up here amongst whatever else he got going on in his life and shit. And he came up here and acted a fool. And we found out he was a straight peon. Mm. Straight peon. Not just because he got beat up. Zoe beat him up. <laughs> he went and gave them lawyers some money so they can investigate what's going on with us. Then the lawyers let it go because they realized, oh, ain't no money in that. Mm. We ain't got no money for them. Man, someone like uh, Aerie Spears, you got to cut them off like a cancer. As soon as you detect the cancer, you got to take it out because it can take the whole ship down. That was very strategic of him. Had Corey not seen that, he definitely would have made a lot of money off of that because guess what? If I see Corey and Aries on the same podcast at the same time, guess who's watching all 100% of that podcast? Me. And, you know, that was definitely going to make a killing off of that. But, you know, Corey is a lot smarter than DJ Vlad gives him credit for. We know he's smart, but DJ Vlad might have not known that. I don't monetize this show or hustle like this. I do this for God. Come on, Corey. I swear to God, I don't do the thing. Marcus, Craig, all kinds of people. Country Wayne have tried to show me ways to get more money with 5150. I haven't done it because I really, this is my gift to the world. Country Wayne ought to like get I'm that money. I talented enough where you can see me every week and it won't interfere with what I'm doing. Some mm. people, when you see too much of them, it hurts what they're doing. But I feel like I'm going to get the people this. And then you come see me later on in the game, in the streets, when I come to your town. Come to New Orleans, you know what brother. I'm this is this is my gift to y'all from God. But Vlad tried to make it seem like I'm thirsty for some money or something like that. What I told Vlad and what everybody who I think who goes on Vlad's show, I said, Vlad, I'm not coming on your show. If you want to produce a video together, we could chop up the money. I would do that. Yeah. I think everybody who go on Vlad needs to tell Vlad, listen, if you want to produce a video, we could chop it up. Because this ain't the old day. This how you get your money on these videos. Yep. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go on Vlad's show and he collect the money for it. That's crazy. 
Yeah, DJ Vlad is not in the business of chopping up the money. I think he'd rather just pay you up front and then he takes the back end straight up, which is probably the most profitable way to do it. But Corey understands what his worth and what his value is. So at least give me a big bag up front or let's, you know, bust it down the middle straight up. Pause. Because I know a lot of y'all childish. Oh, yeah. And Vlad better hope these people don't see this podcast because if that's the case, that's going to hurt his pockets. If everybody goes on there with that leverage like that, hey, man, listen, let's split this down the middle. That's definitely going to uh, affect his bottom line in a negative way. I mean, if somebody wants to say something, I ain't trying so, to over talk the whole thing. What happened? So, so he just came out of the blue and said that? Just no, he, they looking for likes. They need somebody on their channel. So they using me for bait and it's working with it's working with vlad current. remember that something else happened a while ago but then uh -huh. current. so he vlad mad because he ain't never had a chance to have no video on me for real mm. and on top of that he was disrespectful to the minister mm. with his little slick words and shit. but vlad let me tell you something i done found a picture that i'm just gonna i'm just gonna tease you a little bit right now with this picture because I ain't ready to go at you. I'm not even mad at you, Vlad. You just, I know you want some attention, but that's Vlad girl, from mm -hmm. what I heard. Oh. Ooh. Now, you Vlad, know. if this is your girl, you are no longer a culture vulture. You are just a vulture. Man. <laughs> you out here eating worms in the ground. <laughs> you cannot talk about Vlad no more being a culture vulture if he done smashed that right there. Mm -hmm. Vlad. I am, I crack jokes for a living, man. Y'all not finna get me fired up in y'all. But you, Vlad, I know information. I done dug in there. I'm gonna start off with this picture. This is what you ate from the back. <laughs> <laughs> Vlad, you don't <laughs> want problems with me. You <laughs> and Shrek. <laughs> Shrekka. Right. You don't want it with me. Shrieker. Damn. If that's out there, I'm telling you, you don't want it with me, Black. I didn't think so. That must be something current. I know those are old. That's an old picture here. He said, you won't come do a show because you money hungry. That's what he said? <laughs> well, no, he tried to make it seem like, I, he said, I, he tried to make it seem like I'm about money and all like that or whatever the well, fuck. Like, the way he said it, basically, like, if you give me some money, I'll do this. I'm like, no, nah, I didn't say if you give me some money, I'm not finna give you no money. If I come on your show, I'm giving you money. Damn. So was he talking to somebody I'm else? hot right now, Vlad. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, what you need to do is take that money you got out the community and take your girl to Brazil and y'all get down. Damn. Because that ain't not, I know why you hide her now. I know now. You don't. Won't it? Somebody say she look like who? Paul, Paul Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> they said Ving Rain. No. <laughs> when he play Holiday Hard. <laughs> That's Holiday Hard. <laughs> no, <laughs> bro, not Holiday Hard, son. You know what? Uh, Somebody said leave Kelly Price out of here. Look like the black version of the Green Jolly Giant. Damn. Oh, she do look like Paul Robertson. Like That's cold blooded. Mm -hmm. How you find that? <laughs> Lord Steve Farquhar. Thanks for the half so. Hey, 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 Vlad, listen, man. You don't want it with me. I got more dirt. I'm just starting with that picture. I'm putting that out there. Damn. Oh, man. It's, it's blurred, man. <laughs> yeah, what is that? I don't know. He gonna, blame, he gonna blame it on the blur. He gonna say it's a blur, man. Uh, no, you can't no fix clue. that. I'm looking at that <laughs> face, and that's a makeup face. Like, Damn. Hey, uh, Popeye Jones rookie card. <laughs> <laughs> he said a Popeye Jones rookie card. <laughs> now, this is comedic gold right here. I probably wouldn't go so far to do it because I personally don't attack people, loved ones, and stuff like that. And I ain't, you know, I love Corey. I ain't gonna cap, but man, it's just different strokes for different folks. But while he making his content, I'm gonna sit up here and enjoy it. I wouldn't personally do it, but it is what it is, man. Corey, a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, yeah. no, I don't care stupid. who it is he associated yeah. with her. That's after it. Somebody said it's his wife. I don't know, but I'm saying you can't go back and forth with me and you going back and forth in bed 
with the motherfucking. As soon as he, as soon as he come in the room, she be like, get your ass on the bed. Right. <laughs> Especially if she do this when she talk. Oh, man. Hell no. That's after, they took that after hey, 15 <laughs> I met him at the football game. Hell party. no. Hey, this motherfucker got an MMA fighter. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 15 run, a rebound game right there. That's a player of the game. For <laughs> It's an all ACC tournament picture. Right? Stupid, dog. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. She going to play for Dion next year. <laughs> Nigga, stupid. <laughs> Vlad, you don't want it with me, man. I know that you you baiting me in, and it's working. But, dude, I will hurt your feelings. Mm, 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 mm. I will hurt your feelings. You won't be able to laugh at all. Because, like, right now, he probably like, oh, well, what are they? No. You try to hide. I know the stuff you hiding. We didn't dug it up. <sighs> Leave me alone. Do your little show. Rob the people. Do everything you want to do. I think he mad because he, I mean, like, what it is, he feel like I'm competition. Mm. And I don't even feel like I'm competition to nobody. I don't feel like there's nobody doing a show like this. Our show, we get knowledge. We talk crazy. We go at each other. You got to be a confident person to watch this show. You got to be a confident person to be around somebody like me. I ain't going to lie. I know I ain't perfect. Everybody been sitting around talking about where Mark is at. He right there, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little brother. I might have to knock him upside the head one day because I think he think he can whoop me. <laughs> <laughs> I think he think hey, he can man. whoop me. I'm going to have to ball him up. <laughs> already Hold know. him like clothes. But, Y'all motherfuckers, man. Erica, you're Y'all fool. get the fuck old with the bullshit. Even the motherfuckers that I don't even fuck with no more. I wish them the best. I know I'm, I, man, look, you think I ain't aware of what has happened on this show? Like, I'm talking about with everything. I, I mean, shit, man. I, what the fuck, man? I ain't got no hater bone in my body. I don't got to lie about who I am or nothing. I'm going through it just like everybody else. You can see the. You can see the lack of confidence in people sometimes with their clothes. Like if Mark is stood up and you see these overalls <laughs> he got on. <laughs> fuck you, man. What the fuck is them, man? Did you go to Bass Pro Shop? You got the, you got what's that? That's a picture of you on your on your shirt right a now. A little baby bear. Oh. <laughs> that boy looking like a fat album character. Glasses on your shirt. <laughs> you better leave Vlad alone when he sick that goddamn dog on you right there, bro. Who that? Oh, Scooby wow. Doo? <laughs> <laughs> dog, 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 that's a bear. <laughs> she was like, she probably be fucking him. She be giving him a lot of attention. Yeah, she Milo. she be fucking. That's uh, he called little Peg the Stallion. He be, she be Stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said Peg the Stallion, bro. <laughs> what is that? Uh, <laughs> what I was the only one that found that funny. Y'all ain't finna make me look like I'm crazy. That was funny. Mobile. UT Murph and Marvin killed in Philly. All right, who is that? What, what that name Bro, say? But nah, I totally understand where Corey Holcomb is coming from. He's always been a stand-up guy. He's definitely going to speak his mind. But, you know, all too often, people who don't really know the business side, they go on there and just, let's keep it real, man. They get bent over when it comes to certain things. Because let's say Vlad gets someone to come on just because they know he has a presence online. And they don't even get money from Vlad. Let's say the video goes viral. Vlad is going to clip that video up so many times and make countless dollars. He's also going to release it behind the scenes first. Like I think he has a Patreon. So you get first uh, dibs at the content, right? So he's making money that way. And then he's going to have it put on different platforms and monetized over there, man. Like it's a real machine over there. And these guys are not getting anything. It's just like what Kanye West was talking about, how the record labels just do what they do. And the artists always usually get the short end of the stick. Now, Corey Holcomb, someone who is business minded, business savvy, at least to that extent knows that hey i know you're gonna make a lot of money off of me the people are not coming to see you they're coming to see me get an inside look to my life and personal issues and things of that nature so Corey already see the writing on the wall he's not about to let this man finesse him like he's been doing so many other people and then you know there's the allegations of him being the feds and everything like that i can see why a person like Corey wouldn't necessarily just want to jump and go on this man's show especially if he's not gaining anything monetarily so you know love him or hate him he got common sense he knows enough not to get screwed over by this guy and uh yeah it is what it is